time in more than a year, the staggering... You in Afghanistan has grown. At least 13 service personnel killed, along with dozens. The closing salvo in America's longest war. ABC senior foreign correspondent Ian Pannell, who just left the country, leads us off from Doha. Juju, we'd already seen a dip. in the numbers of people being evacuated from the country over the last couple of days and as the retrograde takes place and following this incident and the increased restrictions on the numbers of people being able to brought, be brought safely into the airport then surely that decline is going to continue. ISIS-K as they've shown now is perfectly capable of conducting attacks and because when the Taliban swept through many cities they also opened all the prisons that didn't just include Taliban fighters, it also included ISIS. And General McKenzie also said that one particular concern was the possibility that some fighters could get through those security checks, get on the aircraft like the evacuation flight we were on last night, packed with hundreds of Afghan refugees, and detonate a device. The risks that already existed for you. Following this incident and the increased restrictions on the numbers of people being able to brought, be brought safely into the airport, then surely that decline is going to continue. ISIS-K is... now is perfectly capable of conducting attacks and because when the Taliban swept through many cities they also opened all the prisons that climbed in the numbers of people being evacuated from the country over the last couple of days and as the retrograde takes place and following this incident and the increased restrictions on the numbers of people being able to brought, be brought safely into the airport then surely that decline is going to continue. ISIS-K, as they've shown now, is perfectly capable of conducting attack. When the Taliban swept through many cities, they also opened all the prisons that didn't just include Taliban fighters, it also included ISIS. And General McKenzie also said that one particular concern was the possibility that some fighters could get through those security checks, get on the aircraft like the evacuation flight we were on last night, packed with hundreds of Afghan refugees, and detonate a device. The what do you see? Just people at the marketplace. That's all. And some soldiers hanging out. That's all. Already existed for US troops, other NATO troops, and in particular for refugees, have just got worse. Juju? Our thanks to Ian.
The attack at the airport may have complicated evacuation efforts, but it didn't stop them. The White House says approximately 7,500 people were flown out on Thursday. Seven plus five is 12. Reverse the one and the two. That's 21. Triple Zion. Triple sevens. Mind weapons. Three of them coming at you. Bombings and the loss of so many lives is the realization of the greatest fears of American commanders. Sirens. You're conditioned by sirens in your own little community right where you are. You know when the police have to get somewhere. They make sure they turn on their sirens to scare the population. So you're already conditioned by sirens. To catastrophe. After two suicide bombs exploded near Kabul's international airport. What do you see? You really think that a bomb exploded? Everybody looks pretty sanitized to me. Nice clean clothing. Maybe like they were told there's going to be a filming. Worst mass casualty suffered by American forces in a decade. These American service members who gave their lives. You know who this is? This is Tim Allen, the comedian. <laughs> All right, you might say, I think you're incorrect. I don't care. What you need to know is it's a comedy show. Whether it's Tim Allen or another actor, all presidents are fake. All. From day one to the present. Not one has ever been genuine. They've all been actors or just images or famous people pretending to be president but it's not what you think so think through all of this Afghan nonsense and I'd like to repeat <laughs> repeat the refrain of Dave J nobody died and nobody got hurt in Afghanistan. Thank you for watching.